address this between you, my man's. I know you didn't think that me and Saucy Santana was going to have a J. Critch conversation. Ha, 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 ha. Yo, listen. Yo, Ag, listen. When I tweeted that shit, I didn't watch the video. I did not watch the video. Yo. I tweeted yeah, it, yeah, and yo. I didn't watch the yeah, video, yeah, bro. Yeah. Yo, wait, facts, hold on, facts. Ag. Did he say that? Did he say that shit? Yo, yo facts, facts, facts. Yo, 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 hold on. Before I got to ask my man facts. Yo, facts. You will legit let me sit here and have a conversation with a nigga who threatened to rape me, my nigga? No, no, no. Listen, listen. Act. I didn't watch the video. Yo, I didn't. Facts. I did not hear the context of the video. But after that, after I yo, heard the video, yo, was yo, yo, chat. Yo, for the record, shit. for the record, my nigga, facts was basically saying, yeah, it's all good. As long, that nigga could take your booty hole as long as like you know what I mean. Y'all <laughs> nah, just that's... watch it. After. Yo, how you gonna tell yo. me that we could like really politic like that? Yo, I seen. I was like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. You know who hit me was like, yo, a yo, AJ hit me and be like, yo, yo, we all fuck with facts, but yo, either facts can't read or that nigga bugging right now. He wants yo, you to listen. talk to the nigga who, like, bro, <laughs> the nigga is talking about fucking me, bro. Like, yo, yo dog. I, like, I didn't, yo. yo, act, listen, bro. Yo. Listen, I did not read this shit, bro. The niggas, I did not, I did not read it or I didn't, I didn't hear the video. I didn't listen to it. I just tweeted it. Yo, bro, facts. I, if I nah, knew, nah, if facts, I knew nah. that the nigga said that, bro, no, I wouldn't have tweeted. Facts, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. This is theoretical, though. It's theoretical. <laughs> this is what happened. Facts. <laughs> if, if I've dragged you, Wale, intern, everybody in here into a VC, like some private shit. And I said, bro, I ain't going to lie to y'all, gang. Yo, I fought Saucy Santana yesterday, and that nigga fucked me in the ass. Would you still jack yo. me? Like, let's yo. give it a beat. <laughs> That's what yo. I'm saying. That's, yo, the nigga is jacking like, yo, I'm about to, I'm about to fuck him in the ass. I'm like, yo. Yo, I yo, swear I didn't yo. see that yesterday. Yo, when I when I read that video, I mean, when I read this shit and I actually heard the video, I'm like, nah, he went crazy. But my thing is this though, act like, how is it okay for him to say that shit? Bro, you he's know gay. Why. <laughs> yeah, like what we talk about, yo, act. A if gay guy could say you... anything, yo. Play this, and this is no respect to the LGBTQ community. You know how a girl. Like if she with you, she she say she found you cheating. She slapped the fuck out of you. She beat you up. Like 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 she just like hit you type shit. Bro, you know you could never hit her like that, right? You're gonna jail. You're not gonna call the police, or even if you call the police, police are gonna come there and be like, like they gonna be so diplomatic. She's not going to jail, bro. If you do it, they're going to jail. So like. When I see, and this, this is why like, I feel like my hands are tied, pause, like with this like Batman dude, because I'm like, yo, if I really say shit that could be, you know me, I like to say hurtful shit to people. If I say to him, they're going to say, oh, it's not about him, you just hate all gay people. Bro, you can't bro, win with a nigga. It's a lose-lose, like bro. Yeah, so yeah. Hey, no, hey, act, 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 I'm gonna be real with you, <laughs> bro. Don't don't fight that. Don't fight that that, that nigga. It, yo, that's what niggas yo. Lose. If yo, you, look, if you beat him, you lose, and if <laughs> yo. you lose, you still lose. Yo, listen, niggas I wrote told that me today, right? Exact comment, yo, right? Niggas act. told me today. They're like, yo, I right, bet it's your act. I don't know who got you up to talk about fighting that nigga. I right, bet say you fight him, cool. Yeah, you beat him up. But in the fight, that nigga grabs your balls. Like, you're done for. Like, you're done for. Feel me? Like, I'm like, no, it, facts, like there's no real win. How do I win? Act, act, you don't fight gay niggas, man. Because think about it, they're going to be like, oh, you just beat up a gay nigga. Yo, and the crazy lose, thing is. You got beat up by a gay nigga. The crazy so thing I is. Wouldn't even, I wouldn't even entertain it. Yo, the crazy thing is, bro, I literally wrote that shit in the fucking neighborhood talk comments. I like, I wrote, I like, yo, act, don't even respond to that shit because we know what's gonna happen after that, bro. I got fucking death yo, threats. Yo, facts. Yo, everybody know anytime, uh, like, anytime a nigga pop in here, facts really instrumental. Like, yo, yo facts, like, a, facts, one of them chattings. Anyway. When facts say, yo, yo, we got to get saucy and act on the phone, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, 
Yo, this nigga told my raping me, bro. <laughs> yo, I ain't. Yo, I swear to yo, God. I did remember when I covered that shit, Dwight bro. Howard shit? Yo, I ain't gonna lie to you. That shit was like, <laughs> bro, imagine hearing a story of a nigga like taking your dick out by force and sucking it without <laughs> your consent, nigga. Like just forcing your ass to lay on your back while he suck your dick. That don't even sound right. Hey, hey hold on, hold on. Hey, I, hey, I hey, hey, we you, might I have to call Kevin Durant to call um, Dwight Howard to do a favor for us. Yo, yo, yo. I gotta ask you. I gotta ask you a real question, bro. Yeah. You think he gonna get canceled for what he said? Hell, Hell no. Oh, no. Why you asking stupid questions? Yeah. Yo. Nah, yo. hold up, hold up. Now, yo, in reality, shit, yo, in if reality, I said that shit, they yo, will try to cancel, bro. Yo, yo, in reality, you know, I realize it in the space of today is that you know they brought me to a place I usually don't go. Like, bro, everybody know I'm Jamaican, bro. I'm not. I'm not. This not no gimmick. This is just how I was. I grew up. When when it bleeds into the content, it because I feel like I'm repping my tradition. I'm repping who I am. You know what I mean? And I and I, and I feel like homie, like bro. At the end of the day, like I know people really on some trolling shit, thinking like, oh yeah, yeah, bro. You know I don't even live in Miami, nigga. Why are you tell me to come to a party in Miami? If he wanted to find me, you will find me. But here's the thing. He knows that that gay shit is triggering. Like, when I talk to my people that grow up in Jamaica, bro, bro, this is some shit they all looking at me like your dog. Nigga, I know where you from. You gonna let a gay nigga say that? So, like, they're almost putting it, they're putting the pressure on me like, yo, you gotta go crazy on that nigga, bro. Crazy. Oh. But, not, not like, but, but, but now when I'm in that mindset, I'm like, yo, bro, I'm gonna say shit. That without a doubt gonna get me canceled. So I'm trying to keep it on a medium level, and then this thing is gonna start saying dumb shit like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna rape you and shit like that." Like, bro, if I'm supposed to really say what I want to say, nigga, niggas gonna say, "Bro, you're just a hateful people, a hateful person of gay dudes." You know what I mean? So it's like, bro, like it's a frustrating hey, thing. Hey, hey, we just gotta recruit one of the gay chat niggas. The the the, the beat on his head tell for us. That's all we gotta do. Yo, listen, listen, bro. Y'all gotta leave that shit yo, all the way, bro. <laughs> yo, do you feel like no, no, hey, yo, we got some gay chat niggas that cool. We yo, to, yo, tell yo, one of the gay yo, chat yo, niggas act, to take care of that. Bro, act, do you feel like he's baiting you? I do think so, bro. I'm telling you. Yo, no, hold on. Not only do I think he's baiting me, I think all the female pages are baiting me. They're like, oh, bro, they start saying the most pussiest shit to me, bro. It was bothering my soul. Oh. <laughs> You had all these energy for girls, but you ain't got no energy, bro, nigga. I'm, nigga. Look how, look how the the first part of me and me and um Jay Chris started out, bro. I talked to every nigga like that. Yo, I showed it on the screen. This is why I realized, man. Like you said, a lot of these female pages want to see you crap. Yo, they can't defeat me. So they're like, yo, we need you to just trick yourself out of your position because we can't defeat. Yo, when Lil Baby, yo, Lil Baby told me he was in New York, nigga, I gave him an address. I said, I bet I'm going to be there. I bet. Bro, the nigga was never in New York. He was just really trying to see how it was going to pop out. I said the same thing online. Nobody really covered that because they're like, oh, we don't want to cover that. But, my nigga, ain't nobody even talking gangster shit with young young Miami, my nigga. Like, bro, I'm just saying, like, City Girls is over. Yo, this Bati man just come out of nowhere talking about, yo, blah, blah, yo. And then now... It's like he's trying to trigger me into, into some shit where it's like, you know, I play all them songs before I even get on stream, bro. It's because I got to get mentally right because it, it, it's like he want me to slide down that, that lane of tradition that is usually mixed with a lot of homophobia. And you know what they're going to say? Because he know he ain't going to do nothing to me, right? I'm going to say some wild shit because this is how I grew up. I told y'all my journey already. Bro, I grew up where, like, I, I swear, I'm telling y'all this as a fact. I grew up in Clarendon, Jamaica, nigga, where the only, we, there was two gay niggas in our whole five-mile vicinity, nigga. And I'm telling you, I remember they, there was a rumor that, that this was on a church Sunday that the nigga tried to make a pass at a boy. And I'm telling you, they ran up to his house and dragged that nigga to the town square. Niggas don't care about gay people like that where I'm from. Bro, when I come over here to America, my nigga, I got to learn this shit. I got to really put myself in the mindset to say, 
I'm not in Jamaica no more. So whatever lifestyle they got going on over here, y'all trannies, y'all do all type of shit. I like, bro, I'm going to let y'all rock because this ain't my fight to fight. We not in Jamaica. If we was in Jamaica, I'd be on, I'd stand on some shit. But we not here. Y'all fuck animals. Y'all fuck anything over here. It, this is a land of whatever you want to do. So I don't trip over niggas. But when you see me play those songs and shit like that, it's because I'm, I got to reflect on where I've came from. And I remember times where, like, bro, there was a time that I hated certain type of people, bro. And it's bring it's try to bring me a nigga nigga like me who made so much progress back to that. Y'all told about this saucy Santana type of nigga, bro. I don't like I can't even say how I feel about these type of like I can't even say I grew up in a different type of place. Bro, I've just grown to being different where I'm like, yo, if a nigga ain't fucking with me, nigga, I ain't gonna give a fuck what he got going on. But then when I see a black team on our any type of these dudes, they trying to bait me out. It's like they want me to say stuff about a community that is indicative. And let me tell you this, the way I, I grew up is 90s Jamaica, my nigga. Let me tell you this, I grew up in a country. This is facts. I know y'all grew up in America, and I listen, I love America because I live here and I'm a citizen of the United States. I grew up in a country, Jamaica, nigga, who's a colony of motherfucking England. We have buggery laws on fucking books till this day. It's illegal, nigga, to show any type of public affection, man on man, woman on woman. It's illegal. Facts. When you go to church, the first thing they tell you, they quote that Leviticus, uh, that Leviticus, Leviticus verse that basically says any man who lays with another man should be stoned and, and casted to death. That's how it grew up. I came over here with that thoughts. I came over here and realized this is not a religious land I'm in. This is the land of anything that goes. I do anything. There's no soul over here. I can't bring my, I can't bring my whatever I grew up with in Jamaica over here. I went through my persecutions. You know why? Because I was, I remember, like, I tell you, I, I told you my stories through, through, like, little, like, tidbits, but y'all don't get it. Nigga, I went to college, nigga. That's when the time I'm really starting to get lit, like, on some social level. My nigga, I was running for, like, hard present because I'm living a, nigga, I was campaigning, nigga. Yo, the whole press, like, they called me in. They said, bro, you campaign, you a mad social person. You know what all the gay niggas said? They said, and they said, you skipped Every time, you never spoke to them a word. And I couldn't even explain to them, like, yo, I'm sorry. It's not me. It took me a long while. I always tell y'all the story about me working at a computer lab. And I had to, that was a thing. It's a milestone in my life to this day. Where, like, I used to just be talking about bitches getting fucked and shit like that. Because I was just an OG, like, you know, member of, like, this computer lab, I was, I stopped doing work, you know, like, you've been there too long, you know, a nigga who's been out of work too long, he only come to just tell stories and crack jokes and clock out and leave, that was me, bro, and I got to the point where, like, there's, a, there's like, two gay niggas on, on, on staff, and I was like, yo, bro, like, bro, I don't want these niggas feeling weird, nigga, I started interacting with them, like, all right, what's up, like, I ain't with y'all lifestyle, but y'all can tell me y'all experiences, because I don't want to make y'all feel like y'all not people, because I'm a people person, to the point where I'm like, yo, Man, if you gay or you do whatever you got to do, bro, God bless you, bro. I, I ain't trying to trip on you. I'm not banging on you. I'm telling you, if this was 2000 and I was in Jamaica, I'm telling you I'm a hateful person. So when I see like a nigga like Saucy Santana, it's really, it's rubbing on the mere fabric of what I really grew up on. I told y'all I grew up in a land where the two worst things to be, I promise you, ask any Jamaican growing up in the 90s or the 2000s, the two worst things to be is a batimana and a goddamn bowcat, even more than a rapist and a murderer and anybody. That's how it taught you. You heard it from the pastor. You heard it from the goddamn politicians. Nobody want to be that. So when I'm telling y'all, I feel like I've came a long way. Nigga, I told y'all my journey. I said, bro, I sat there and I and I motherfucking DJed a fucking gay. It was a, it was called a queer ball at Rutgers University, and I stood on that because I had to go through some like growing as a man and be like, yo, bro, you ain't America, bro. Like this is a different land, bro. What you think this is Jamaica, nigga? 
Nigga, I don't, I don't, all right, whatever, y'all do what y'all do. But when it comes to a situation like this and you got like niggas like, like, I'm a, like, it brings me back to a hateful part of my life that I really try to get past. It really brings me back to that part. And when I see a nigga trying to like play with me with that because he playing with me like, nigga, you the gay nigga. I have a lot of thoughts about you, but I can't even say it because it would definitely cancel me. Nigga, nigga, whatever you think about Jamaicans, nigga, we don't, we, we, go look at any country in the world. Jamaica was always the most homophobic, nigga. I was that, nigga. Whatever you thought I was that, nigga, I had to really mentally train myself. So when I got past all that shit and I see a gay nigga still trying to get at me and I see all these bitches trying to act like this is cool, my nigga, you don't know what a nigga like me been through. I got to really think about my culture because put it like this, I ain't like these motherfuckers that live over here. Fuck everything I've earned, nigga. I'm a Jamaican at the end of the day. I always tell people I love tradition over anything. I can't be a man if I can't if I don't got no morals and values and respect on the traditions I grew up on. That's a fact. Man, the Bati boy can't really agree on like going back and forth. I ain't into that clout shit, period. Not with no Bati. Like, come on, dog. Yo, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Yo, I, lay, I ain't yo, gonna no, lie. Hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick. Man, I've I've laid to rest so many people. My great grandmother, my grandmother, my uncle, all my peoples, bro. They would never look at me the same if that's the type of time I'm on. I've ex I've I've exercised tolerance though. You don't hear me say nothing crazy. Y'all know me. I'm Jamaican, nigga. Me me Listen, make sure you remember that first. I'm Jamaican, nigga. I don't give a fuck about none of this. Shit. I'm Jamaican first, nigga. I've exercised tolerance because I understand. Listen, you grew up in a different land. You over here, do what you got to do. Some people going to agree with you. Some people ain't not. But it ain't your job to fight no battle between you and no Batiman and tell people how to live. I don't care what y'all do over here. So when I see a nigga hey, like hey. Saucy Santana, bro, that shit bothers my soul because now it puts me in a position where you got a gay nigga calling me gay. Like, bro, how are we going to do... Like, bruh, yo, yo, you talk about crashing out, nigga. If I'm in Jamaica, nigga, that's the ultimate crash out, nigga. Are you crazy? Hey, act your people back in Jamaica going to say you defending the steam fish. Yo, you got to chill. Y'all niggas don't know where to chill. <laughs> bruh, I'm, I'm just trying to tell people why they might think there's a little passion there with me. And this is why I got to, like... Before I get on stream, even talking to my dude like this, I got to really prep myself because I'm telling you, you know, there's a point. I remember all these, you know, these little bitch ass rappers, they never liked me from the get go. I remember I used to tell them, I'm like, I said, yo, give me my first million. I go back to Jamaica and I'm chilling. Go look at my tweets. I don't delete no tweets. That's another thing you don't realize, man. I don't delete no tweets. Glorilla, whoever the hell, Glorilla, she a bitch. She going to delete tweets. I don't delete no tweets about nobody. So anybody who I've gotten into it, ain't no deleting going on. It's going to be up there for public record from here on into eternity. Go look at my tweets. It's, I remember, remember there's a tweet I say, yo, listen, I understand. I got a different morals from y'all. Y'all give me a million dollars. I pay off my student loan. This is when I just got out of college. Obviously, I paid off now. I say I go back to Jamaica. I leave all y'all alone, whatever the case is. That's because I don't agree with certain type of shit. So when I start seeing like, bruh. Me and me and a nigga like Saucy Santana, all y'all trannies and all that type of shit like that. This is why, I, like, even when y'all see I start going crazy on them, no jumping niggas. When y'all start mentioning Batiman on transsexual with my name, my brother, like, yeah, that shit really start bothering my soul, my nigga. That start bothering my soul and everything I've lived for. Because I've came with a lot of tolerance and I've never came with disrespect. I came with a lot of tolerance. I try to understand y'all motherfuckers. But don't try to take me trying to exercise tolerance from a place I came from and try to disrespect me. Because if I told you what I would really do to a nigga like Saucy Santana, and I know someone would be like, come on, yo, I'm from Jamaica. I seen them burn niggas. I seen them kill niggas who's gay. I seen them put a tie around a nigga and burn that shit, to, burn that nigga to death. If I really told you what I was really on, you wouldn't like that. And I would definitely get canceled. So I can't talk like that. So, bro, just let me be me, bro. Oh, y'all, yeah, Batman, yo, just stop, stop playing with me, bro. Like, I come from a place that really, 
We don't agree with y'all. Let me be. I like to be fun. I want to, I want like, even the Glorilla shit. I don't give a fuck about Glorilla. Like, me and her, we can go back at it. When I hear, like, a little gay nigga trying to get into it with me, it, 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 it brings, it brings back, it brings back the kid in me who was growing up, and I start thinking that I didn't come over here for nothing. I, I want to stand for something. So I don't got no problem going back and forth with Young Miami. I don't give a fuck about Diddy and none of these niggas. But all you gay niggas, man, please just leave me alone, man. Please just leave me alone. Because y'all going to bring out a side of me of me. I'm going to say some shit. And it's definitely going to get me canceled. I'm, you know, I've been feeding my family. And I'm I, Like, my mom, like, my mom upstairs right now. And I retired her. Man, don't let me get canceled really saying really what I want to say. So just let me just chill, bro. That's the only thing. Like, I'm Jamaican at the end of the day. So. That's the only thing that could really get me passionate. Just let me be, bro. Don't let don't let them bait you act, man. Sometimes y'all want to suck y'all dick. Y'all want to do whatever y'all want to do. Y'all want to call yourself he, she, they, them. Bro, I ain't got no time for that. Y'all say I don't be bugging on that. Nigga, I be joking on that all the time. Just leave me alone, bro. Because yeah, really act, you can't if, let them bait you, though. If, 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 if I really you, tell y'all what yeah, I really do, if I yeah. really act, tell y'all. Let the steam fish be a steam fish. Yo, if I really tell y'all what I really wish. Y'all wouldn't like that. So we just gonna leave it there. Because y'all ain't gonna trick me out of my position either. But also, this is why I came on today's stream and I said, you know what? Let me just show the joke in this shit because you see, I can't, like, I see somebody say to me, they were like, oh, act, you wild out last stream. I said, you don't even know where my heart is at. You don't even know me that. <laughs> because I didn't even say nothing I really felt. I ain't say nothing I really felt. So that's why when I come over here, I'm like, yo, I'm just making jokes. I'm like, yo, you see this Batiman over here talking about you want to rape this and blah, blah, blah. Man, if I had to say what I really felt, man. Yo, act, yo, act. Don't let them bait you, man. Yo, act, you don't got to explain yourself, gay. We understand. Yo, when y'all listen to me play them songs, this is what I grew up on, nigga. Every day. This is my mantra. It's beating in my head. Let me tell you this. When you have a kid, go. I don't know if anybody got kids. Nigga, I came over here when I was 11 years old. Nigga, my, my morals and everything was baked in already. I came in thinking certain shit, and I still live by it today. So when I see, like, nigga, like, Saucy Santana and shit like that, man. <laughs> Living in America. <laughs> Chat, my bad, man. Like, yeah, yeah, act. Come yes, on, man. Don't let them act. get you, act, man. Yeah, come on, man. Nah, nah, I ain't gonna lie. That's, I that's, got that's, the niggas in my family too, gang. It's, it, come on, gang. Man, I should don't be upset, me, you, man. man. I should be upset. Yo, me, hey. Man. Yo, act. I ain't gonna hold you. Yo, you seen Jay Critch just drop the song? That shit got a million views in a day, right? Bro. Bro. <laughs> nigga, That's hell no! Nah, a million happy, views man. is five dollars and twenty nine cent, nigga. <laughs> All right, man. Come yo, on, man. I thought we just, yo, yo. We just this is why I came on here. Yo, yo, yo. The switch of eyes to me, real quick. Chat. I'm sorry, man. Yo, but also his thing. This is the last time I'm saying that. Yo, chat. Just honestly and genuinely, and trust me, like you, this hurts me. I'm telling you, I shed tears over this shit. I'm not trying to get canceled to fuck up what we got going on. I'm never Please, trying to. Gang. I'm never trying to get canceled. Say the wrong thing. I know what we got going on. I love it. I'm trying not to get canceled, but this shit does bother me. This nigga dead ass too, like y'all. Oh man. Yeah, I tried to lighten it up. Put it, it up, like, yo, chat. Just put it like this, bro. With everything we've talked about, bro, I've never cared about. I don't care what rapper got at me, bro. Ever. But like really, there's certain shit I've always I really don't fuck with in my life and I would never do. But like I gotta sit here and act like I know I'm in I'm I'm in America, I gotta sit here and just act like I don't fuck with certain shit. I would never like it. My nigga's so angry right now, he would have cried. Just, <laughs> just, 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 right yo, now. yo, just please. I'm telling you I <laughs> I hate certain shit to, to, to the soul of me. I, I can't. I, it, I'm only pretending. Because if I say what I want to say, I will never be here for y'all. 
but that's not my content. I don't want to be that person. I, I want to be the person who just have fun with y'all and some other shit. Okay, so PJ Academics got emotional. He got tearful during his reaction to Saucy Santana wanting to, um, in a lot of ways, sexually assault him. I'm trying to figure out the word that doesn't, you know, completely clap this video. I'm just being honest. Look, we can go for the yellow green sign, but we the age restriction is where it really like, that's where it fucks this shit up. So look, I'm trying to stay in the algorithm as much as possible. And that's what we did with this cut and this edit of this clip. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we're gonna get into this shit and break it down now. In the video that I posted of Saucy Santana responding to DJ Academic saying to pull up to his headquarters in that same exact video saucy santana basically said after he beat day jack academics up he was gonna um, <laughs> peg him look i'm trying i'm trying here but it did come off as that you know it sounded like he was basically saying he was going to forcefully sexually assault him and that was some pure violation i don't know if saucy santana meant it i hope not that sounded disturbing and Honestly, let's be fucking for real. DJ Academics was to say that to anybody else of, of female nature, oh, he'd be he'd be in jail. He wouldn't even be canceled. He'd be in, in the slammer. So now we're just okay with letting, you know, a, a, a gay man say that he can, you know, do what he wants to do with academics after he whoops up on him. That's just, that's not right, okay? R regardless of the double standard, I get it is a double standard and this is a world of double standards and you can't be ignorant to the double standards that people have that was very disturbing it was i would be scared to like i would be frightened at that point a boxing match is off the fucking table i can i can be completely clear and honest with you that if it's me a boxing match is done i'm pulling up with a bat my nigga <laughs> because that ain't happening <laughs> you i give two fucks i'm swinging so it's either you forcefully let it happen or you fight for your fucking life and i hope act would, would fight for his life but he would have his security and entourage around him so yeah i don't think they would let that even happen it is just banter i guess and honestly it is shocking to see at get emotional about this because all the violation that he does and all the going in that he does and the egregious things that he says to certain people you you get upset and emotional when somebody threatens to do something like that egregious and and then the day it is fucked up but you're at you're big act like if you can dish it out i really expect you to take it you feel what i'm saying the kitchen can't get, get too hot and you go oh i didn't want to be in here in the first place no nigga you help fucking set the fire you can't back down and get emotional now and get tearful now because you're trying to combat not really saying what you want to say but also having to respect your jamaican brethren like i get it that's your culture and if your culture is sitting behind you like you're not gonna let this man talk to you like that right at the end of the day don't say anything yeah i'm not gonna let him talk to me like that and when i see his ass it's up it's up and it's stuck it's on site and that's just the end of it don't get into a war of words because regardless we know that's who you are but at some point you have to choose your battles wisely act and look i think it should have stopped with you offering him a boxing match at that point i don't want to say anything else about this shit it's either we gonna fight and we gonna squabble and you gonna do whatever the fuck you said you were gonna do and <laughs> if i do lose and it gets to that point then we're really Really not fighting anymore that's off the table regardless of it all we can have a fair fight and call it a day but you know boy i tried my best i really did anyways let me know what you guys think about this whole fucking situation in the comments below i am savvy mike and this as always is i am savvy mike tv peace